this video, we're going to work out an individual integral. It's going to be a straightforward integral. Nothing fancy would be uh, for that beginning Calc 1 student that just needs to practice some integrals. All right, um, my integral here is x to the third minus 1 all over x squared. All right, it is a polynomial. About the easiest way to do this is just to take this polynomial, especially since it's so small, and just do some long division. Put that x to the third minus 1 on the inside and divide by x squared. All right, x squared goes into the x to the third x times. All right, so when I multiply, x times x squared is going to give me an x to the third. All right, um, crossing that out, I have a remainder of minus 1. All right, I can then write an equivalent statement. I can start at the top, go uh, clockwise around and create my equivalent expression. So basically, the x to the third minus 1 over x squared, which was my original expression, is equal to an x minus a 1 over x squared. Okay, so that's our key there. What we're doing is we're just taking this polynomial curve and breaking it up into two, all right, so that we can rewrite this expression. Okay, so I'm going to have the integral of an x minus a 1 over x squared. Let's go ahead and put a set of parentheses around that, dx. All right, this is going to be a nice little polynomial curve. I can break it into two separate integrals. So we'll have the integral of x dx minus the integral of 1 over x squared dx. All right, this one I can go ahead and integrate right away because it's just a plain x. All right, so adding 1 to that exponent, I'll have an x squared. Putting it um, in front there with the reciprocal, I'll have the 1 over 2. Minus sign will be right there. Now on this one, before I do it, I'm going to want to use my laws of exponents, move that to the top, and make this the integral of an x to the negative 2 dx. That's then going to allow me to integrate that very easily. The 1 half x squared is just going to stay. Integrating here, if I add 1 to that exponent, I'll have x to the minus 1, and then down in front, a minus 1. At this point, I've fully integrated, so I can throw in the plus c. And then basically, I just want to clean this answer up a little bit. I've got two negatives right there, and I've got that exponent I want to get rid of. So we could rewrite a final answer as a 1 half x squared plus a 1 over x plus a c. Okay, so definitely a straightforward integral, nothing fancy, um, just kind of allowing that beginning calculus student some integrals to practice with on the internet. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.